Okay, this is how I shoot birds in general. I'm now using shutter priority. I used to um, shoot mainly in manual. But of course in manual you've got far too many things that uh, may need adjusting. And I found shooting in shutter priority, uh, everything is taken care of, the ISO, etc. is taken care of. And you can alter the shutter speed very easily. Um, so you just have that one thing that you worry about. So I can slow the shutter speed down when birds are gliding or they're perched or whatever. But if it's a small bird with lots of wing flapping then uh, of course you can just wind the shutter speed up as you go. It makes it a lot easier. And later on in the video I will explain why the OM-1 has been voted the best wildlife camera in 2023. So uh, enjoy the video and uh, I will get back to you later. We had a little interruption as we were shooting with a female marsh harrier flying over. So that made a little bit of a change. And then uh, we had a robin settle right on the post right next to where we were shooting as well. And so the OM-1 was voted the best wildlife camera for 2023 by the National Geographic, no less. And you will see from these charts why that's so. The stacked sensor gives you one of the best burst rates um, in the sector um, when you compare it to other cameras. So it's still one of the best. In 2024 we shall see. They're all getting better as they go along but so far I think it is the best at the moment and I am thoroughly enjoying using it. So that's my reason for having the OM-1. I have no reason to regret my choice. But uh, keep enjoying the video and uh, hope to see you again next time. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching and could you please give us a thumbs up that would be good and maybe subscribe as well. Most much appreciated and hopefully we will see you next time if you subscribe you will get notification of when the next video comes out so many thanks for that and bye for now